Yes, I'm back on a second time today. After having an experience or being taken through a process by my beautiful friend Yumi, where she got to help me see that there's a difference between fighting the situation and making a stand by using our voice. I've had so much internal conflict going on this past week. Can I rise above it? Am I okay with this? How can I see Dan Andrews in this whole situation from a loving place? How can I focus on all the great things? How can I do this and that? And then what I keep coming back to is, but it's not okay. And it isn't okay. And it's not okay that we're still locked up in Melbourne. And it's not okay that we have a curfew at eight o'clock. And it's not okay that there's no roadmap out of here. It's not okay. And I'm not doing it from a place of, I'm not gonna fight this, but I'm going to use my voice to question what the hell this man is doing and the government's doing. We have lost all our rights. We're locked up in our homes and it's not okay. And I'm not okay. And I'm feeling the collective sadness and I'm feeling the collective anguish and I'm feeling the collective hopelessness and I'm feeling the collective rage. Actually, not so much rage, but I'm tapping into it. And it's not okay. And it's not okay, as you just said, not to have a roadmap because there is no end in sight. And I have so many tools and I have an extraordinary community of people around me, but it is not okay. And I'm not okay about this. As you can see, I'm not okay. And I'm going to make a fucking stand for people that don't have a voice and we need to speak up and we need to question the control the control of this government and the fact that the people, us, are not getting a say. The fact that I speak to my parents and other older people and they are not happy about being locked up. This is not okay. So we need to use our voices and we need to make a stand and we need to do what we can to change what is going on because I am not gonna sit by, I'm not gonna sit back and I'm not gonna not speak up any longer. You know, I can rise above it. I can see the greatest, greater picture. And I know from chaos, there will be order. But right now, I can still be in a stand. I can still, can still, still, I can still take a stand from my heart and use my voice to lead myself, my family and others towards something where we are free because we have no freedom. Our rights have been removed. We are living in a lucky country. <laughs> it's not a lucky country. I can't wait to get the hell out of here. What is that about? We are not living in a lucky country. So who is with me? I'm going to, I've decided, I was talking to my friend, I'm going to every day jump on and I'm going to share my journey. I'm going to share with you my trials and tribulations. I'm going to share with you my ups and downs. I'm going to share with you the things that I'm using to move me through this chaotic time in the hope that we can all unite from a place of standing for our rights and, and civil rights and our freedom as opposed to fighting it. I'm not going to fight them. There's nothing to fight, but I will come from my heart and I will lead myself out of this mess. I would love hearts. If you're with me, let's do this together. Let's take a stand because yes, we might just be one voice, but one voice plus one voice plus one voice all adds up. And without it, there is hopelessness. I mean, that's what I'm really tuning into. People are feeling a sense of hopelessness because there is no light at the end of the tunnel. We need to create that light at the end of the tunnel. We need to change the outcome and not from protesting, maybe if that's your feeling, if that's your call, if that's what resonates. But for me, it's not that. For me, it's making a stand and using our voice to get us through this on into the other side where we actually are free to move around as human beings. It's inhumane what they're doing. It is totally inhumane. So if you're watching this and you agree, pop a heart and let's, let's use our voices and unite for the greatest good of all of us to get through this time. And I send you so much love and compassion and it's a journey. I'm like this, up and down and up and down. I'll see you soon. Bye.